So over the weekend, I saw two really good movies that just came out. They were The Batman and Fresh. I absolutely loved both of these. And just because there's probably nothing new I can say about how good The Batman was, I want to talk about Fresh today. Fresh premiered at Sundance earlier this year and is directed by Mimi Cave in her feature debut. It stars Daisy Edgar Jones and Sebastian Stan and is an insanely twisted horror thriller. The movie starts off as sort of a modern rom-com. Noah is seen on dating apps and goes on a first date that's just not successful, and meets a stranger named Steve at the grocery store, who she immediately hits it off with. After a few good nights with Steve, Noah accepts his invitation for a weekend getaway with him. The title and opening credits don't play until about 30 minutes into this movie, and that's when you know you're in for a wild ride. Only this and Drive My Car had the guts to do such a thing. I can't really talk about where the movie goes after that without spoiling anything, but let me just say, it is a really, really tough watch. It'll keep you on the edge of your seat the entire time, and I really enjoyed it, but my roommate Cade, who I was watching it with, was extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> there were a few occasions where he said, Jack, I'm not sure if I can do this anymore. And I didn't know what I, he wanted me to do about it, if he wanted me to pause it or turn it off, or I just figured he would go up to bed if he didn't want to watch anymore, but Oh my god, it is so freaking wild. What I can talk about without spoiling it is the cinematography. I'm probably going to butcher this name, but Paul Pogorzelski was the director of photography for this. Um, he also shot Hereditary and Midsummer, so if you liked either of those, you're in for a treat here. He gets extremely creative with uh, his lens choices, camera movement, and lighting. There are so many scenes that are difficult to watch, but yet the way that he shoots them make them insanely captivating and heightens the absurdity of it all which almost makes you just have to laugh. Daisy Edgar Jones is a complete star in this. We already knew this based off her performance in the series Normal People but she takes it to a whole different level in this. Sebastian Stan also plays an insanely creepy guy. I highly recommend checking this one out because it was really crazy to watch and I think it's just a cult classic like in the making. Not everyone's gonna like it but I think the message it's getting across is really relevant today, but yeah, if you're looking for a Midnight Madness type movie, this would be my first pick right now.